Where do you go if you want to see over 150 of the nation's best pointing bird dogs? Well, in this situation, we don't have to go anywhere. They actually came to us. We're here today at the Cedar Creek Quail Club for the UFTA Nationals. Today is the open division, so this is the best of the best. So what we're watching here today, it's a timed event with a dog and a handler who also is carrying a shotgun. And there's three different zones, and there's a bird that's gonna be placed, a live quail, in each of those zones. The dog has to come up and find the bird and point. They walk up to it, flush the bird. If the bird is shot, the handler has to stand still until it's retrieved and repeat the process. After you've secured all three of your birds, that's when your time stops. You wanna make sure that you hunt clean, shoot clean, and you want your dog to point that bird as fast as you possibly can and retrieve it back to your hand as quickly as possible. I'm here with Kyle and you're about ready to take your dog out into the field here. Yes, sir. What dog are you running today? Uh, his name's Rip. He's a two-year-old little Brittany Spaniel. Should do good today. We'll see what happens. I, I like his odds. What type of time are you, are you expecting? Uh, I hope a two or a three. So how do you like running dogs in Kentucky? Uh, I like it. I, I work at a preserve every day, um, guide for a living, um, and tarpon fish in the summertime. But I tell you what, Kentucky is a beautiful place. Oh, we love when they have the nationals up here. So I'll tell you what, this, tell me a little bit about what it takes to win this. I mean, I know you, you, it obviously takes a really good dog. That's right. It takes shooting clean, right? That's right. And it takes a little bit of luck. It does, it does. And the luck comes in um, when you're watching these fields. If you can get a safety bird up front, that's gonna help you where you don't have to cover the whole field. Well, good luck. Thank you. We hope you, you. Uh, get a time better than you expect. I think so, we'll see. <laughs> good luck. Here, let's go. Whoa, whoa. Here, 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 here. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Gun's clear. Rip, here. Here, here, here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here, 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 time. That's what I'm talking about, son. Yeah. Ah, oh, we had a four. Uh, get to play tomorrow. It's fast, I'm out of breath. Front to back, forward, that's about as good as we're gonna do today in this mud. Happy with him though. Pretty good for a two year old. I'm here with President Brett Bill of the UFTA. How you doing? I'm doing good, pretty day, getting warm. Getting ready to run. UFTA, tell me what that stands for for those that, that don't know. It's the United Field Trials Association. This is your second year in Kentucky in a row? Second, yeah, it's our actually third year of having nationals, my second year being the president. All right, how do you like coming to Kentucky? Oh, we love it, it's a good central location. We have people come from all over. I'm from Alabama, We've got a lot of good, strong club here in Kentucky. And Cedar Creek is a strong club, We've got great members, they got facilities. It's just a great place to come to. As you can see, you look at some of these fields, the venue that you can oversee the fields and watch. Mm -hmm. And that you know allows people to learn how to play the game and just enjoy watching dogs run. Hey Joey, I've been out here and spoke to you before here at Cedar Creek Quail Club. Man, what a big event you guys have going on here today. Huge, a lot of dogs, a lot of folks, probably 15 states. Um, just a lot of friends hunting dogs. 
The great thing about this venue is that it's, it's rolling hills and, and you can stand up and kind of watch all the action as a spectator. Yes, it's a great place to actually be able to stand and watch all the fields. Uh, you get to watch the dogs work, which is what you know we all love to do, to, to be able to see what those dogs have been trained to do throughout the year or years. Uh, to get to this point. This is a huge event. It's not just uh, your average dog here. How much time and effort have you guys taken to put to get these fields and get everything set up? We've actually been preparing for this for the last year, but true efforts in it probably since July. So six months, a lot of hours, a lot of help, a lot of members, uh, but we pull it off every year, so. Well, you've done a great job. Thank you. I, I can't tell you how much I just appreciate the habitat and all the camaraderie out here with hunting dogs. Yes, it doesn't sir. get any better than that. No better than that, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you.